Hello everyone, and welcome back to Expeditions Conquistador. So, last time, uh, we ran from some mountain raiders, and it did us no good. So, let's go ahead and punch these guys right in the face. As always, we're going to bring in our peeps, Daniela, Gabriela, Rita, Isabella, Teresa, and... Homeboy's not with us, because he is hurt. Uh, but Montego is back, so we can go ahead and bring him into battle. Uh, he has no equipment on him, though. Let's fix that. We have six. Let's go ahead and boost his that thing and boost his defense. Okay. To battle! I saw a little red thing down there in the corner. I don't know what it was, though. Okay. I don't know what that little red thing was. Alright, so he has no time to set up traps or anything because we ran... Where the hell are these guys? They're all the way over here, and there's only six of them. Man-at-arms, man-at-arms, recruit, 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 veteran. One veteran, two man-at-arms. Shouldn't be that bad. Most of our guys are man-at-arms. All of our guys are man-at-arms, actually. Okay. So how do we want to do this? There's a couple of ways we can set this up. This battlefield's pretty huge. There's quite a few choke points we can use. And there's only six of them. Could have just looked right here and seen what it was, but that's no fun. Alright, so let's go ahead and... We don't really want to double move. We don't want to get close enough for them to close the gap on us. We want to be able to rush them. So let's go ahead and move Daniela right here. Come on, game. Calm down. Rita. Oh, right. Rita's a soldier. Daniel is a scout. Go ahead and move you all the way forward. Gabriella. Go ahead and move you right here. The good doctor. We'll move you up with Gabriella. Isabella, go ahead and move forward with uh, Rita. It's been a while, I'm forgetting everybody's name. Montego. Okay. Oh, he's got one of those, um, what are those called? <sighs> those chunks of wood with obsidian embedded in it. Man, it's being really jumpy. I don't remember it being this jumpy the last time I played. Okay, so we got some guys rushing forward. Their warriors can really move far. Either that or their trappers just didn't want to move that far. No, their trappers can't move that far. Their warriors got some range on them, though. They're like my scouts, but more dangerous. <laughs> okay. So I kind of want them to come to me. Shit. Shit. I immediately forget how far their movement range is. And now I can't check because I already clicked on my guys. I don't want to retreat. Uh, you can't switch over to range because you are a scout. I remember that. Uh, everyone has the same amount of health. They only have 100 hit points. Although, who has more defense? 21%, 22%, 22%. 32. 32. Okay, so you go ahead and move back. You move forward and draw their attacks. Both of you, actually. Um, This might be a mistake. But let's go ahead and have you shoot. Yeah, yeah. 
move forward, you move forward, switch to, oh, you're a scout, you can't shoot ranged. Okay, go ahead and wait. Really? Really? Okay, don't go, no, don't go that way. Yeah, you bastard. Okay, I want you to faint as number one, right? Yeah. I want you to go ahead and not faint that way, you jackass. You know what? Reselect your bullshit. There's one thing about this game I don't like. Um, you know what? Fainting that way is not going to do me any good because I have no one who can go right here. Uh, but I can move you here and move you here, and then that'll have the exact same effect, so I don't have to faint. Alright, go ahead and punch him in the face. Ah, blocked it. Rita. There you go. That's my girl. You I can have faint through, though, and that'll be for giggles. Yeah, go ahead and faint through just for fun. Alright, I need you to go ahead and rebuff this guy. Don't need him that close to you. Do you have you have your dagger out? Get your sword out, you dumb bitch. Or your blunderbuss. Okay, you used your attack to do that, so run the wolf. Run away. Okay. Blocked and poisoned. That's adorable. Nice block. Yeah. Okay, that's no bueno. Go ahead and faint through. Rita, get up behind him and just destroy him. Annihilate him, Rita! Damn it. Rita, that is not annihilating. Especially since I need I need an open area for Homegirl to get through. One, two, three, four. Nope, he should be going through too many areas of opportunity to get to this guy. Well, just one, I guess. Or her. Girl. Daniela. That is a check. Um... Yeah, take the shot. You! Yeah. That's my girl, Getty. Okay, now I need you, because this removes status effects. Yeah. I need you to get up here and get rid of this poison. There we go. Show this douchebag his box. Damn it, I should have had. Isabella move up here first and then do it because of the bonus, but it doesn't matter because he's dead. Alright. Uh, there should be everybody, right? Yeah, everyone has done an attack and a movement. I suppose I could have moved some people around a little bit more, but... Ugh. Don't you shoot me with arrows. Yeah, quick shot. Don't you poison me. Okay. I'm about to get really upset. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, that's doable. One, two, three. Okay. I'm gonna start off with the flanking damage. You can suck all kinds of dicks. Go ahead and move Montego here. And we'll have Daniela go ahead and move up, and then we get another flanking damage. Yeah! Kind of a waste, but... And then we have Montego just go ahead and rush this guy. 
Yeah. Then we'll have you. Does that give me a clear line? Of, well, standing where I'm standing right now, it does not give me a clear line. Neither does that. So I guess just go ahead and run over here. Although I should be using her ability to heal and not her ability to shoot because that is useless. Well, I guess useless is a little harsh, but she's basically useless at range. It's really just when you have nothing else to do, just, meh, I guess take a shot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and that is everyone. Yeah, yeah, trying to run? You can't run. Ah, yeah, based it. You know what I'm gonna do, right? I'm just gonna have the doctor finish you off, because fuck you. Stab my doctor. That is unacceptable. Is your faint up? Your faint is up. Ooh, guess who can't run away? Got you now, bitch. Yeah! Alright, uh, Daniela. Can anyone else get within range? No one else can get within range, so I guess Daniela just go ahead and run up here and critical hit him. Boom! Yay! No injuries. Flawless victory. Your proud fellows have gained morale. Well, hopefully that was... Anybody else go up? Uh, Alvarado went up. Because he's proud. She is not. She is not. Raphael is proud. So he went up. Oh, good, because he was at two. Julio is proud. Pious. Peaceful, courageous, pious. Okay, alright, cool, cool, cool. So we don't have anyone at two anymore, I don't think. So we're doing okay on that front. Although we could be doing better, because three's pretty bad. Close to the danger zone. Alright, the troops face off against the raiders and prevail. In the heat of the battle, there is little time for mercy, and the few surviving enemies are in poor condition at the end of it all. A thorough search of the bodies yields modest results, but your servants do return to your caravan with a few valuable trinkets, some rope, and some rations, and medicine. Nice. End event. Fucking assholes. Chasing me down. Karens. How many of those are there? Ten mountain Karens. Jesus, okay. Where are we at? I'm gonna keep going this way. Alrighty. Anybody still hurt? You are still hurt, but you are well on your way to recovery. My good man. We need more hunters. Who has some hunting skill that we can switch off from guarding? That won't cut too far into our guarding. You are still being healed. Holy crap, how do we have that much herbs? There's a lot of herbs. Uh, you do herbalism. Let's get this... Get this medicine back up. Montego, my man. I can put you on patrolling. Uh, you're doing more good on patrolling. You don't really add that much to hunting. Alrighty. Camp. Montego stretches in front of the fire and lets out a long, content sigh. You know, senor, this is the life. This is what makes the entire endeavor worthwhile. Warming your feet at the fire? <laughs> that is certainly a part of it. With a wide sweep of the hand, he gestured towards the world at large. All of this, though. The crisp night air, the sound of exotic birds, the trickle of a distant stream. Sometimes I question my decision to follow you here, with all due respect. I admire your leadership, but sometimes I worry that I'm just not cut out for all of this. You've proven an excellent scout, Aragonis. I swear to god, buddy, if you leave me because you're getting all flight of fancy and shit, I will cut out your eyeballs. He nods humbly. You honor me, Capitan. It's only... I've never taken a like, took a liking to battle. All the glory and the thrill that details describe... 
I've not really found combat to be all that rewarding. But when you're out here in the wilderness, far from home with no fam familiar landmarks, left to your own cunning and courage. I said this doesn't really make any sense. Is there, is there a point to that? That just, that just feels like an oddly worded sentence. Anyway, continue. He takes a deep breath and exhales with great satisfaction. <sighs> there is glory in that for sure. Okay, I see. This links up with this. I find battle to be much like how the bards describe it. Ah, crap. I don't remember. What do you have? Aragones, what are you? You're peaceful? Oh, you're peaceful, you fucking pussy. Courageous and adventurous. Or cautious and adventurous. Okay. Um... Yeah, if it were up to me, we'd never draw our weapons. Montego nods pensively, staring into the crackling campfire. He smiles. If only it were, then, Capitan. Yeah, I like Montego. As much as a pain in the ass as he is sometimes, I, I like his character. It's weird that ha how that happens. I like all. All it really takes is just you using a unit, using a character enough times, and you kind of grow to like them, even if you don't really agree with some of their. Uh, I don't want to say character choices. Crap. What? No. No. Broken axle. Oh, you bastards! Your lead supply cart, weakened under the stress of lengthy travel, has split its rear axle, halting the caravan in its tracks. Your people give the cart a curious exam. A cursory examination is that word. We can repair the cart, but it'll take several hours. If we need to get moving right away, we could take the pole from a halberd or similar and use that as a makeshift axle. That might work. <sighs> God damn it. Okay, so I could waste one equipment to fix the axle and keep moving, or make camp here and waste the remainder of the day. Well, we only have eight movement points left, so let's go ahead and make camp. Unwilling to sacrifice valuable equipment, your servants spend the rest of the afternoon nearby, making out a reasonable, seeking out a reasonable replacement for the from the ample jungle wood. A suitable axle is cut and measured, and the cart is right as rain in the morning. You asshats! Yeah, yeah, we got to keep going this way. And I'm really not in the right area to get the medallion, because it said... Well, no, I guess I am, because it's set up in the mountains, right? That's where the medallion one's at? Patrol... In, in, into the mountains. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and make camp again, I guess. Who's doing what? Uh, guarding, patrolling, and hunting all looks alright. Julio! My man! Get back to tinkering. Uh, how much experience do we have? 170? I'm saving up for someone to get to, uh... Uh, veteran. So there's that. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make camp. Everyone's doing what I want them to do. Rations are auto-assigned for meat. Camp. Expedition consumes. We process 14 herbs into medicines. Guards, fellas, and... Damn it, we lost some metal. Uh, we gained 9 rations. Nice. Hunting party returned, disappointed with the meager catch of two meat. Yeah. Chart the mountains. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here. Out of the mountains, I mean. This has been interesting, but we got some quests to do. I mean, I suppose I could keep going up through the mountains to try to find the medallion. But it's a little hard to justify that when... You know, I mean, it did say northwest, but I mean, this is more straight up west and not northwest, so... Whatever, let's go ahead and pick up these herbs. And I have lost track of the time this episode's been going on again, because when you don't record for a really long time, you fall out of habit of doing that. So I'm going to check that and be right back. Yeah, we got some time. Camp. Hunting, patrolling, and guarding. Because we're medium, low, medium. Everybody's doing a thing. Ah, oh, Pedro, you're not, doing, you're not doing a thing! Why aren't you doing a thing, buddy? You know what, let's see if we can't cheat this a little bit, because it lets us do it. So why not? 40 days? I want that axe. I want that axe. Go ahead and camp. Patrol returns empty-handed. We don't get any... don't get any meat. Well, we got like three meat, but... 
process one herb into medicine. Got 12 herbs that time. Let's get back on the road. Hard to exploit. Yeah, we're in the jungle now. We're in the jungle, baby! Oh, I hate that song. Get the piggy. Get the piggy. Yeah, yeah. Got him. 22. Huzzah. Yeah, we probably should have stayed in the mountains. It was more fruitful expeditions. Making camp again. I wonder if this will just get to a certain point of tinkering level with the four that he's at and then just stop, because it says we need six to get to this level. Weird. Weird. Alright, so rations. Auto-eating that meat, but... A lot of it's going to go to waste. So let's go ahead and do some preservations. Alright, that's good. We don't have anybody hunting, but we are. We do have plenty of meat to eat, so it doesn't really matter. Camp. Uh, we got 14 rations, process 8 medicines. We lost 7 rations because we failed to guard properly. And we got 8 metal back. Not bad, not bad. But let's explore this road a little bit more. Ooh, is that another Karen? It is another Karen. Go get it. I get your goofy. There's a piggy out there. Piggy, 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 piggy. Delicious pigs. Delicious pig vittles. Okay. I saw a light of some kind. I think. Do I see a light? I do see a light. There's things up here. I suppose we could keep following. Stop it. I don't really like that about the camera, how it won't let me move. Yeah, see, there's the there's the camp that we're supposed to go to. And a pig. But there are things up in the mountain that I want to explore. That I hope are on this set. Yeah, there's a treasure chest and a white thing, which I think might be a Karen. Alrighty. Alrighty. Um, you know what? That's actually going to go ahead and be enough for this episode. Uh, we did, we did some things, got into a fight, kind of getting back in the groove of this whole hobby of mine, because it's been too long. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, and join us next time on Expeditions Conquistador. And remember, don't panic, get manic.